And here's our beautiful shot up target that we've been uh, thoroughly molesting here for the past 30 minutes or so. Uh, what we're going to do is go to seven yards. And I'm going to show you the first shots out of this little beauty right here. Which is the incredibly ugly but functional high point 40 cal. Look at that. Isn't it just gorgeous? Beautiful. What I'm going to do is I have a 180 grain full metal jacket. Um, can't remember the brand. Oh, it's Winchester. My bad. It's Winchester. 180 grain. It's the uh, Winchester Ranger. And I'm going to go ahead and fire off three magazines worth. I'm not going to go super fast. I'm just going to take my time with it. And we'll see how she runs. All right, you can see how we did. Just average, there's all of my shots. And I'm not gonna edit out. You saw the situation that I was having with this high point. I had to keep slapping the slide. That's common when you have a brand new high point and you have brand new magazines. That's why they say you wanna keep the magazines loaded for a while and uh, why you just gotta break this gun in because it's a little bit tight, it's gritty. So the more you shoot it, the more it's going to loosen up. You saw basically what I had to do was tap it a few times like that. And it functions just fine. But there it is. Very first shots fired out of this uh, high point other than what the factory fired, which I don't know how many they fire. But there it is. All right, we're going to do the same thing I did with the 40, but with my little high point C9 here. Here it is in all of its ugly glory. Just three magazines worth. We're sitting at right about, let me back up a little bit here, right about seven yards. And we'll just fire off three bags worth, so here we go. All right, let's go ahead and go up to the target. You can see that the C9, and I bobbled a couple of shots right there, or well, one shot. That was barely a hit. Now there's the C9, and you can see it ran a lot better than the 40 did. The 40 was a little bit tighter. I had to slap the back of the slide a little bit. That's because this is broken in, the 40 isn't. So it kind of shows you the difference between the two. So there it is, there's my C9 group. And there's my 40. So not bad. Definitely serviceable guns. This one's right around $100, $120 on the 40. It's sitting right at about $150. Bucks. So they work. They're definitely not smooth as some of the more expensive guns out there, but they do work. All right, I'm just here loading up a couple more magazines for the high point 40 cal. And the main reason I'm doing this is you saw me do the shoot with it. Uh, the initial rounds and you saw it was a little bit tight with the magazine a little bit gritty in operation So I'm just dumping a couple more mags in it just for the heck of it But while I'm loading I want you to look at something look at that 40 cal round right there And as you can see see how it has a truncated cone it has that flat tip That's the neat part about 40 caliber rounds most full metal jacket rounds have that flat tip so if it feeds a full metal jacket high probability you won't have any issues feeding a hollow point because the hollow points have the same profile. So I just thought I'd throw that out there. But with that said, if you're gonna run hollow points through, especially a high point, don't just think 
that you could just shoot this and then just throw a hollow point in and automatically it'll function. It should, but you want to take your defense load and shoot at least 50 to 100 rounds of that defense load through it just to make sure it works. So what I'll do here is I'll just shoot a couple more magazines through just to see what's going on with it, see if it's loosening up at all. one time it caught a little bit but I can tell by its function it's already loosening up there it is again you saw both times that it did catch a little bit on those first uh, in the beginning of the magazine, but I didn't have to slap it this time. So the only rounds I fired through was the three magazines, uh, 30 rounds on my first video, and now 20 more. So it's one 50 round box, and you can already see a marked improvement. It's getting a little bit uh, worn in, and within about another 50 rounds or so, this thing is going to be working just fine. So just wanted to show you guys that. If you own a high point and it's catching up a little bit, fire a few more rounds through it and see what happens.